projects that I could be doing right now because they're due tomorrow or the next day, but because I'm a piece of shit, I'm going to waste time and make this video. So, once upon a time, children, I used to live at my mom's house, and uh, this was right after my parents got divorced, so I say right after, it was more like six months or so. Anyway, my mom was still living in the first house she bought after they had split up. This house was a piece of shit. Oh my god. All of the floorboards creaked, like literally, to navigate the house at night. I had to Mission Impossible style, like, leap from individual floorboard to individual floorboard so they wouldn't creak. It was ridiculous. The stove didn't work well. Every month or so you had to, like, beat the shit out of the fire alarm because it wouldn't stop fucking beeping. I ripped this thing out, wires and all, and it still beeped at me. Repeatedly. I took the batteries out and then finally shut up, but not for like a minute after that. It was fucking... Oh my god. There were a lot of things wrong with the house, if you can't tell. The main of which is that there were bugs. Everywhere. It was mostly ants, but every once in a while there was like a silverfish or something or a spider. So, um, at my old school, they provided their students with iPads. So I had an iPad at this time, and uh, I felt high-tech and shit, but iPads suck. I have a laptop now, as you can see from what I'm filming on. You can actually see the laptop. Oh my god. So, <clears throat> iPads. I was not supposed to be awake at this point. I was a freshman. This was in my old school, before I had the more relaxed version of my parents. They were still very strict, especially my mother. I wasn't supposed to be up past 11. You can see how this is a flaw in the way of the teenager. This was like 1 a.m. that I am awake. Something like this. I'm using a clipboard to, uh signify the iPad, as I no longer have the iPad. I suppose there's one in my sister's room, but I don't think she'd let me use it for the sole purpose of demonstrating my idiocy. So I'm lying in bed like this. And as I'm laying there in my little ball of nocturnal rebellion, the light of my iPad, this spotlight of doom, all I can see is like a one foot radius around my head, like a freaking halo of nerd. Illuminates this dark shape that I can see black against my white covers, speeding towards my eyeballs. I'm thinking like something's coming to kill me. I don't know what happened, but like in half a second, I am across the room. I like fling my iPad onto the bed and I swear to god I levitated, like, my soul was preparing to descend, and it just took my body with it, not abiding the laws of physics. I flick on the light after, like, pulling myself off the floor and internally screaming, because I couldn't actually scream because I was not supposed to be awake. On my pillow, where my face had been, was a spider. I swear to god it was this big. And it wasn't one of those, like, house spiders. No, this thing had, like long ass legs and a huge body. It was one of those things that you see in like your nightmare spiders. Like not regular spiders, nightmare spiders. This thing was this big and it was where my face was. Keep in mind, I saw this thing coming at me in the pitch black of my room as I'm preparing to fall asleep. I'm like freaking out right now because I have nothing in my room. Okay. My room, at this point, had nothing in it. There was a bedside table, a lamp made of paper, and there was a bed. And like a bag or something, and all my clothes and shit. There was nothing in this room. See, my room here is a freaking arsenal. I'm not even getting- look at this shit. So, this room, I am protected. Someone could come in here with a fucking gun, and I would probably have some sort of lethal weapon within arm's reach. There, I had nothing. 
So I'm sitting there watching this spider just like stare at me. I mean, I, I know you can't tell when a spider's staring at you, but this thing was like boring into my soul. I run to the bathroom. Well, no, I don't run to the bathroom. I do my uh, Mission Impossible dance across the floorboard so they don't squeak and wake up my mom downstairs. And I grab like a wad of paper towels and I'm looking around for something to smash the spider with. There's nothing because this house sucks. So I run back to dance back to my room, and the spider is gone. I spent the next at least five, ten minutes going under my bed, which was like the no-go zone. This place was freaking purgatory. You don't go there. Dust was covering me. I, I think I changed my clothes like twice because there was so much dust. I could not find the spider. I looked in my closet, I looked under the pillows, I looked in the freaking vent that's next to my bed. That vent is incredibly important. Not to this story, but to me, because there was no heat in this house, and it was the only thing that gave me warmth in the middle of winter. And I live in Minnesota, so warmth is essential. So, I can't find the fucking spider. Spider is gone. I'm standing here with a wad of paper towels, and like, my heart is going a million miles an hour, and I'm thinking, oh god, this thing is gonna bite me in the middle of the night, and I'm gonna fucking die. Like, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, and I'm gonna be dead. My mom's gonna find me and think, what the fuck? Why can't you go to school? You're dead. Honestly, at that point in my life, I probably would have preferred death by spider to school. Fifteen minutes later, I give up my search. I flip open the covers, and there is a giant ass black dot on the white covers, right where my feet would be if I got into bed. I am so lucky I, like, flung them because otherwise I would have just slid into bed and all of a sudden, bam. So, I'm sitting there and had a little subliminal heart attack because I was not expecting that. And I just, like, grabbed the paper towels. It's not paper towels, it's fucking toilet paper. Grab the paper towels, tissue paper shit off the floor because I just kind of left it because my trash was full and if I tried to put this in it, a mountain of garbage would clatter to the floor. Grab paper towels, and I'm looking at the spider, and then it runs. This thing is, like, supernaturally fast. It was a blur, and it was running at me, and so I, like, jumped to the side, and we had, like, a freaking, I don't know, Mexican standoff, because I didn't want to grab at it, because it was gonna jump at me. And at the same time, it's looking at me like, oh my god, if I move, she's probably gonna try to kill me. So we kind of stood there and just glared at each other for a good... Five, ten seconds. It felt like an eternity, I swear to God, but it was probably around like ten seconds. Finally, I like freaking cat pounced onto the bed and slammed my hand down on it and I'm like gripping it with a death grip. I probably would have broken someone's wrist had I been holding them with this. I'm like internally screeching because I know it's not dead because it's one of those big spiders that you can't kill if you hit it with like a sledgehammer. So I am sitting here and I can feel the thing moving in the tissue paper and I like sprint to the bathroom. I'm do and keep in mind I'm still doing the thing where I have to hop from floorboard to floorboard. So I'm like ninja style to the bathroom, slam dunk the thing in the toilet and like watching horror as it climbs out of the toilet paper and starts trying to climb up the sides and I like slam down the freaking lever of the toilet and this toilet because the house is so fucking stupid it takes like forever to get going and I'm sitting here like and it's slowly swirling to its demise but like sprinting up the side at the same time if i wasn't like fearing for my life it would have been hilarious i sent it down to its watery grave and i'm just sitting there and i like fist pump the fucking air and i'm sitting there like wanting to yell out but of course it's like 1 30 a.m and i'm not supposed to be awake so i'm sitting there heart racing in the bathroom without pants on having just sent a spider to its doom and I prevailed. The shitty ass toilet prevailed against this monster of a spider. I don't know why I found this so exhilarating. Well, not exhilarating. It was terrifying. I think I was just so glad that I had finally captured the beast that had attempted to molest my face with its little creepy hand things. Legs. Legs. The word is legs. <sighs> 
that is the story of how I fucked up and then, you know, escaped. And then sent a spider to hell. And now I could go and do work, but I'm a piece of shit, so I'm probably just gonna fuck around on Tumblr for the next five hours and then cry tomorrow because things are due and I didn't do them. But okay. I I'm I need to go. <laughs>